The main goal for this video is to present early results of the transportation geo exchange on the integration of real time transportation data streams for photorealistic visualization of 3D digital twins. The texturized building layer for the city of Montreal is available from this ArcGIS Living Atlas of the World. The public trees layer uses data from the city open data as well. Note that their realistic 3D symbology matches tree species attributes. The traffic stream layer uses realistic 3D symbols of each transportation mode where attribute driven symbols change according to vehicle type, speed or direction. For this layer, simulated data is generated by SUMO, simulation of urban mobility, a rule-based system used to create traffic routes for multiple transportation modes like pedestrians, cyclists, cars, etc. This data is then fed into the ArcGIS system for real-time analytics and visualization. The interaction with digital twins on rich 3D environments helps enhancing urban awareness and allow for integrated geospatial analysis and intelligence-driven decision-making. In this demonstration, we're going to look at visualizing real-time bike share analytics using ArcGIS Velocity and ArcGIS dashboards with the goal of combining real-time geospatial analytics and visualization. The layers in the map are a combination of both real-time data and simulated data. The live bike share station data and points of interest are both coming from the City of Toronto open data, whereas the cyclist traffic, which we'll see soon, is generated using SUMO. So these set of widgets show information related to bike share utilization. So the indicator widgets here represent the utilization statistics that are being calculated in real time by ArcGIS Velocity. So if I click a station here, I can see it on the map and I can look at the utilization as well as how many docks are disabled. On the map, you'll notice that there are red arrows, which represent simulated cyclists, which are people who are using bike share bicycles. On the right here, the purpose of this uh, graph widget and the heat map on the map are to correlate cyclist movements near major points of interest, which are represented by these green points. The results of this analytic are visualized in both the heat map uh, and the graph, which represents based on how many points of interest on the screen, which ones are the most popular among the cyclists going by them. In this demonstration, we're going to look at real-time surveillance and analytics using ArcGIS Velocity and ArcGIS dashboards, with the goal of performing real-time geofence-based object detection and analysis. Here we see a map of Toronto, Canada with simulated pedestrian and cyclist traffic. There are two mock cameras set up with simulated fields of view or geofences to detect pedestrians and cyclists. Geofences are used to detect traffic within an area of interest. And I zoom in. I can see a geofence as well and simulated traffic. So I have cyclist traffic and pedestrian traffic. As traffic flows in and out of the geofence, real-time analytics are performed using ArcGIS Velocity and object counts are updated in the dashboard, as you can see above. In this demonstration, we're going to look at visualizing real-time data streams in a 3D web scene. The 3D buildings are provided by the City of Toronto Open Data and was built using ArcGIS web scenes, which leverages WebGL technology. The buildings are draped on top of an interchangeable Esri base map. In this example, we're using an imagery base map, which provides visuals of the ground and water features. The colorful moving dots symbolize live data published with ArcGIS Velocity and delivered through a stream service. A stream service enables delivering spatial data through WebSocket technology, which means that the data is being pushed to the browser as quickly as Velocity can process it. Let's fly a little closer into Toronto City Hall and we'll look down at the activities along Queen Street. In this example, we have two active layers. The red dots are the location of buses from a live feed provided by the TTC, the Toronto Transit Commission. The TTC refreshes their feed at a 30 second interval, so you will not see rapid movement in this layer. However, the blue, green, and purple dots are provided by a sumo simulation. In this simulation, we are tracking the movement of people, vehicles, and cyclists. This simulation demonstrates how a well-tuned live feed could respond in a dynamic map. <laughs> 